I will often set my goals to be larger, in fact, than what I want or need to achieve. The first thing I do is I have to identify the goal, quantify it and measure it. I have to know whether I want to make a million dollars next year or five million dollars next year. You know, people will say, oh, I want to be successful. They'll just sort of use that phrase. Well, what does that mean? Right, quantify it, measure it. Can you give me some examples for you what that means for you? People will say, I, I want to be happier. What does that mean for you? Let's quantify it, let's write it down, let's break it down and, and unpack that. What does it mean for you? So you have to know how to quantify it and measure it and identify it. Second is write it down. It doesn't exist unless you write it down in whatever form. You want to write it on paper, great. You want to put it in Google Calendar, that's what I do, great. Because once it's in my calendar and once I've written it down, it exists in a form. I'm looking at it, I can look at it, I can manage it, I can measure it. It's coming into my eyes, getting into my brain, it's, it's part of my energy flow. So just by having written it down and just by looking at it, I'm going to achieve something. Now i got to get to work. So after you've measured it and quantified it, after you've written it down and made it a part of your, your daily mindset, you got to go out and get it done. You got to work, man. There, there's no substitute. So it all comes down to work at the end. I will often set my goals to be larger, in fact, than what I want or need to achieve so that when I fall short, and, and inevitably we all fall short many times with many things. Um, so if I want to make a million dollars next year, I'm going to make my goal five million dollars. I wouldn't realistically set a goal for next year to be 200 million dollars when I haven't come close to that yet in any previous year, but I would set a goal that's maybe three or five or 10x my previous year's goal that I hit and see if I can come close to that. But always strive for more so that way when you fall short, you're always going to be happy with what you did.